Hey, what's up, everyone? A new lifetime deal just dropped, and it's for an email marketing tool. It's called Blast Table. And on this video, I'm going to give you my honest review on this lifetime deal so you understand if it's the right fit for you or not. So let's go check it out. What's up, everyone? This is Blastable, and I want to show you the main features of this email marketing tool. And obviously, this is going to be a review. So the dislike and like about this tool. So you can decide at the end of this video if it's a buy or not. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is that this email marketing tool has all the features that you would find on another email marketing tool. You got your send out in bulk. You got your auto responders. You got your automations. You got um, everything you need, the information, the analytics, etc. And what I mean by that is that if you have a previous lifetime deal that's for email marketing, you're probably good to go with that one if the limits are in that range for you. I mean, if, if it works out for you, if not, I definitely think you should consider Blastable for the email marketing tool. Now, the lifetime deal is going on right now and tier one starts off at $59. Now, this price is going to increase once this timer hits zero and most of the time it ups the price around 10 to $20. So you consider that if you want to grab it. And yes, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. So it's a great time to grab it with the lowest price. So don't wait for it and then test it out. And if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it, right? So as I mentioned before, you get all the tools that you would need for any marketing tool on pro plan and above. Okay, consider that. So for example, tier one and two is tied to the plus plan on their uh, limits and features. And tier three and above is tied to the pro plan. So on pro plan, you do get access to multiple sender profiles and bad segment creation marketing automations, which for me is a must for an email marketing tool and custom timed autoresponders. So yes, you will have to pay 200 bucks and above to get those features, but you do get 100,000 emails per month. So that's a lot of emails for a lot of us. Maybe you have 50,000 subscribers. Well, you can send emails twice a month to those 50,000 subscribers, or maybe you have 200,000 subscribers and you don't send emails to all of them every single month. So you're good to go with this plan. But there's also tier one and two, which should be considered, which is 20,000 emails per month, which could be more than enough for most people. But if you need more limits, tier two, three, and all the way up to six for 1 million emails per month, and you still get these features on tier six, which is $1,000, which I think is pricey for this tool. Remember, this tool is kind of in launch stage, so I would consider sticking around all the way up to tier four or five. I think six is a lot of money for a tool like this, unless you can really juice it in the first year, then definitely consider that one. Okay. So in this case, I have tier one on my account and that's what I'm going to show you because as I mentioned before, you get all the features that you would normally get with email marketing tools. Now you get your main dashboard with the main analytics that you're going to find here. And yes, you do get analytics for the bulk send out and what they call blastable or blasts. So right now I've sent this one for test, just one email. I didn't open it, but you get the tracking stats for this email blast that you send out. So the opens, the clicks, the unsubscribes, the complaints, maybe they get you get complaints because maybe they didn't subscribe and you subscribe them by force. So you get that there, analytics there, bounces, and the overall overview for this, okay? So as I mentioned before, email marketing tools is basically an overall, you get all these tools available there, okay? Then to manage this, you can go to manage and go to email blast. But if you want to send out a blast, you do it to create here and you go to email blast. Now, the first thing you want to do to get started is create email list, connect your email so you can send out emails. Pretty much straightforward, right? But if I want to send out a blast, let me show you how this tool actually works so you can see how powerful it is or not. Okay. So let's send out it. Let's create a blast name. I'll say test. I'll select the email list where I am in the segment, my segment. You can exclude list in case you want to do that and you can exclude segments and yes, yes, you can add several lists right here. Okay, let's hit next and this is going to open up the email builder. Now, my personal perspective, I think this is pretty much basic and outdated. They should really improve this builder to make it more user friendly with more customization and more templates. So in this case, I select this in the profiles. I can do an AI copywriter here to help me out to write this email which is pretty much um, an AI writer that based on what you tell it to do, it'll expand it and make it a nicer email. Select the subject. Then you have your tokens. Tokens are variables. I don't know why they call it tokens, but basically it's a variable. If you want to add variables in the subject and in the email, just go ahead and select the token that you want to 
use and then put it inside the email for me it's variable but they call it token all right now in the builder as i mentioned before i think it's kind of outdated you got your basic elements here you got your blocks on the right and there's several blocks available i mean you got your basic blocks you got images that you can drag in you got buttons you got dividers for example yeah here it is you got divider here where it's added there you have more templates check these out really quickly that's the templates that they have available for the blocks and then the builder so for the builder i just click on the elements and i can change the data and i can edit by moving it here i can edit by going into the code which is that's pretty cool yeah i can duplicate this and i can delete it plus i have my options on the left for the bold italic links cutting links code etc and i also have the html editor which puts the html on the left and the viewer on the right for the preview all right let's go back to the drag and drop you got open html source so just straight html here if you want to edit that which i think is pretty cool that you get this especially if you use for, for example something like a chat gpt you could probably improve that or make a better version of that email by putting in the html code over there and improving it right once you built your template you want to send it out you can send out a test, test blast to check it out see if everything's working fine and you preview it on your email on your phone and you're good to go you can also preview here you can save this if you don't want to send it out. We can click next to send out. Here we go. I can schedule this to send out or I can send the blast right now. All right. So you get those settings and it starts the blast right away or the schedule. Then we also have the option for autoresponders that we can create here. Let me show you this one really quickly. Let's go ahead and edit this autoresponder so you can understand how it works. So I just called this the name for a selected list, the autoresponder message. In this case, I can select Type in the message here. When is this going to be triggered? After subscribing, send it after X amount of days or hours and click next and it'll activate or send it out. All right. You got your email list, pretty much straightforward. Email templates. Uh, there's no email templates, only the ones that you create. So I definitely think that Blastable should create templates because, well, it makes things easier. All right. Then you got your sign up forms. You can create sign up forms here from the templates that they do have here and you can edit these and then you can embed this on your website because they provide the code so you have the elements here that you can click on you can edit here you can use the input fields the elements the style for this pretty much basic in terms of style once you like it go hit next and once you're here you can do a redirect with the url or show a thank you message okay you can edit that too let's keep it there so we can hit next then give it a form name, the group a list, opt-in type, single opt-in or double opt-in. Once you're good to go, you can go ahead and publish it. And if you're going to install it, just click here and you're going to get the details to embed it. All right. And if you want to do it by Blastable, we'll host my form. You can do it with this. So copy sign up form link. Pretty much straightforward. Then you got your option for segments that you can create here. For example, let me give you an example of this one, this segment that I created. So for this list, no exclusions. And what's going to happen in this segment for example if someone did not click in the last five days then it'll start the segment so i can show matching subscribers for this segment for example there's one subscriber because someone did not click in these five days so i'm able to track this and you can do it the other way around so after five days and do something with that segment maybe send out another email start an automation and it helps you do that by creating segments all right then in contacts you're able to view all your contacts here which is pretty much now straightforward you got your settings to add your email accounts here that are going to be able to send out and the most important feature which is the api keys which lets you integrate with third-party services really easily with for example how pally connect zapier make etc uh, but on one hand zapier already connects directly which is pretty cool for example if you just sign into your account you can go ahead and connect with blastable so really easy and straightforward to automate via zapier without having tier three and above right so if you want to use the trigger you got these options trigger events new subscriber polling or new subscriber status change so you can trigger this by using those or if you have something else before for example you fill out form another website and you want to send the, that data to blastable well you can do so with these actions you can create a new subscriber move subscriber to another list unsubscribe subscriber and update subscriber profile so you get all these options with zapier right now for automation which i think is a really great idea that these are included in all the plans so you can basically do a workaround with the automation without jumping into tier three by using zapier or the api system right 
So these are the plans that are available right now. And as I mentioned in the beginning, is that if you have another email marketing tool that's on a lifetime deal and has the features that you need with the limits that you need, you're definitely good to go. But if you don't check out Blast Blastable, remember there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. In my case, I have several email marketing tools. I can definitely uh, skip on this one. But if you don't have one, you should check this out. And I'll be leaving the links in the description in case you guys want to grab this. And that's a wrap.